Hey, what is up guys? It is Toxic Shadow back into the video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to record with the Elgato HD60 or the HD60S with OBS because the OBS uses a lot less. Um, when you go to Task Manager and you see when you're using the Elgato software, it, your CPU is like at 100% and it's like overloaded. Even if you overclock your um, CPU like I do, it still can't handle it for some reason. It's just that harsh on your CPU for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but now I'm going to show you guys how to fix this. So you guys are going to go to um, OBS Studio. And when you open up OBS Studio, you have to have your Xbox on and then your your uh, Elgato HD 60s plugged in and already. Um, so once you open it, I'll show you guys once it opens. It's probably gonna that's gonna open on my second monitor. My guess not to drag it over. I don't know yet. Yeah, there, yeah, it definitely did. Yep. All right, so here it is. All right, so as you guys can see, it's showing my mic talking as you, as you know. So I'm gonna hit um, the video capture device is already there. So as you guys can see, it's right here. So I'm gonna go to Siege right now. I don't need to see Siege. Why, why, why would I even need to do that? Okay, I'm just gonna leave it running in the background. As you guys can see, you do all this stuff. You're gonna go to settings, and you can change this to whatever stream settings you want. You can put it 1080p. I do um, 720p because it's easier on the computer. Not only that, it's the same quality. It literally looks identical to the 1080p. I don't even understand why. Because you can, whenever you edit it, you can just put it to 1080. You can convert it, which I do, um, which makes it look a lot better. So now that you go to, you're gonna go to output. You guys are gonna change your bit rate to 9,000, and you're gonna change this to very slow. And you use CBR times 264. Uh, don't do any other things. Go to recording, and you see all this stuff. You don't even need to touch this stuff. You can change the high quality, you can change the balance quality, you can change speed, profile, everything. You can change all this stuff depending on uh, how well your computer runs. Um, so yeah, other than that, it's pretty simple guys. Uh, you just gotta copy all my stuff. Like this is basically the main part. And then you go to audio, I have a blue snowball, so that's my blue snowball. Um, you can change to whatever desktop audio and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, just put 1280 by 720 and then just convert it with Camtasia or something to 1080 um, And then it'll look fine and then you'll have uh, this with no lag and your CPU I'll show you I'll bring up task manager um, As you guys can see it's only running at uh, because I am recording it's using 39% of my CPU Bandicam alone is um, So yeah, that's why it's it usually would be at around like 30 because look at OBS only uses 14% like that's crazy guys see how much better it is and if you use the Elgato HD capture like the actual program it'll be at 100% the whole time and your computer and frames on your Elgato will drop non-stop like the recording would look terrible um, but yeah that's what I wanted to show you guys I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later